it going you guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is madison hill and yes it's time for another pop off with madison for today's pop off you guys we're gonna be talking about justin and hailey bieber and that bieber baby basically you guys ever since justin and hailey bieber confirmed they are in fact expecting their first child together the bieber baby tea has not slowed down one bit and today is no exception you guys people are now accusing hailey bieber of trying to one up selena gomez with her pregnancy reveal outfit so obviously we have to get into that plus we're also going to discuss why Justin and Haley held off on having kids until now why they kept this pregnancy a secret until now if they have a baby name picked out how their family and friends are feeling about this pregnancy and we also have an update on those rumors regarding those alleged marital issues basically you guys get it today is a day full of beaver tea lord help me which is why I want to put a couple disclaimers before we get into this video if the beavers are in the headline it is my job to sit here and talk about them. So there is no need for you to type, leave the Biebers alone, because trust me, the Biebers are okay. They will continue to be okay, even though a girl named Madison Hill is sitting here talking about them, because I am just sharing information and giving you my own personal opinion on that information. I'm not coming for the Biebers in any way, shape, or form. The other thing I want to mention, here in the House of Hill, we keep things respectful down there in the comments. It is absolutely 1000% okay to disagree with one of my opinions or someone else's opinion down there in the comments, but please just keep things respectful because that's how we do it around here. And then the last thing I want to remind you guys, tea is meant to be fun. This video is meant for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy and forget about whatever you have going on in your real life. The tea is meant to be fun, so please let's try to keep it that way. Okay, you guys, now that we got those disclaimers out of the way and I can breathe a huge sigh of relief because this is the first pop-off of the week you know I have to check in and see how the house of hill is doing let me know how you are what you've been up to all of that good stuff down below me personally guys I'm doing good I feel like my Disney hangover is finally subsiding for those of you who watched yesterday's happy hour hang you know we did a little Disney staycation to celebrate mama hill for mother's day we're also heading into week four of our health and fitness challenge here in the house of hill which by the way if anyone is wanting to extend this health and fitness challenge let me know because me personally, I'm feeling like I could use another 30 days, but let me know how you're doing. But now enough about me because I know you guys are like, Madison, you teased Bieber Baby T. You teased the fact that Haley might have been trying to one-up Selena Gomez. What the heck is that about? So I'm gonna go ahead and just get into it, you guys. Straight to the T people. Now's the time to drop this time code down there in the comments to help out your fellow straight to the T people. And now let's get to unwrapping these Justin and Haley Bieber and Selena Gomez facts. All right, so as you all know, last week, Justin and Haley Bieber shook everyone when they announced that they are expecting their first child. They did this with a post over on Instagram. The post included several photos of Justin and Haley together and a video that showed them renewing their wedding vows after a little over five years of marriage as they embark on this new chapter together. Then shortly after Justin and Haley's Instagram post, we had a report from TMZ where a source confirmed that Haley is in fact six months pregnant. This was also confirmed by Entertainment Tonight and People Magazine. So I feel safe in saying that this Bieber baby is going to make it its way into the world later this summer. Now, y'all also know how the internet works. There was no way that Justin and Hailey Bieber were going to announce they're expecting a baby without people trying to bring Selena Gomez into the mix. Despite the girl being booked, busy, unbothered, and very much wanting to be excluded from this narrative. Anyway, you guys, shortly after the Biebers announced that they were expecting their first child, Selena Gomez posted a photo of her and Benny Blanco holding hands over on her Instagram story, which several people were taking that to be her reaction to Justin and Haley's pregnancy news. In addition to that, Selena also began trending on Twitter. Again, despite her trying to make it crystal clear that she is happy in her own life with Benny Blanco and not concerned with what Justin and Haley are doing. And then if that wasn't bad enough, you guys, now people are trying to say that Haley Bieber was trying to one up or compete with Selena Gomez when it comes to the outfit she chose for her pregnancy reveal post. Now, if you're already rolling your eyes, try Trust me, you're not alone, but this whole theory stems from an outfit that Selena Gomez wore back in February when she was in Paris. This is the outfit that's in question. You can see Selena is wearing all black and she has a scarf kind of wrapped around her head. And because Hailey Bieber chose to have a piece of lace that matched her 
her dress wrapped around her head for her pregnancy reveal slash vow renewal, people have now taken to social media to question whether or not Hailey Bieber was once again coming for Selena Gomez and trying to one up her with this outfit. Now, while I really want to pop off about this immediately and give you guys my thoughts, I have to continue and give you these Bieber baby updates. First of all, you guys, we have this recent report from People Magazine where a source shared that everyone in Justin and Haley's life are excited for them. This insider noted that this baby will be Justin's next important project, that Justin and Haley already have a name picked out. They didn't share the name, but I'm hearing rumors online that it's going to have something to do with Haley's maiden name. And this source also shared that the two have started to work on the baby's nursery together, which is super sweet. In addition to that, this People Magazine source also shared why Justin and Haley chose to keep their pregnancy a secret for so long. Remember, Haley is already six months pregnant. This source said, quote, they have both been very emotional about it. They feel so blessed. They've also felt very protective of the baby from the moment they found out. They shared with family and close friends early on. It was very important for them to keep it quiet and just enjoy it for as long as possible before they publicly confirmed. Now, that personally makes complete sense to me, just like it also makes complete sense to me as to why Justin and Haley decided to wait until over five years into their marriage to have a child. Thankfully, we got a little more insight into this decision thanks to a new report from Us Magazine, where a source shared that Haley wanted to make sure her and Justin could enjoy alone time together as a couple before having children. However, you guys, now that the world knows that Haley is expecting and knows that her and Justin are about to be parents, this Us Magazine source said that becoming a mother is Haley's dream come true and she couldn't wait for everyone to know about it. This source went on to say, quote, now that it's out there, she feels like she's on cloud nine. Haley can't wait for the next chapter and she knows that Justin is going to make an amazing father. Now, as far as those alleged marital issues that we've been hearing about for the past few months, it sounds like those are all in the past as well because a separate source told Us Magazine, quote, they've gone through hard times recently and this feels like the light at the end of the tunnel. It was everything they needed. They decided to renew their vows to embrace a new chapter together. They wanted to renew and restore their faith in God together and in their relationship. It was a new commitment and a fresh start for them as a family of three. Now, this super sweet sentiment was also echoed in a recent report from Entertainment Tonight, you guys, where Soar shared that Justin and Haley are thrilled about this pregnancy and so are both of their families. This ET source said, quote, they have wanted this for a long time and can't wait to expand their family and bring a child into the world. Haley is such a natural caretaker and Justin knows she will be the best mom and Haley has always thought that Justin will make an amazing dad. Whew. Okay, you guys, those are all the Bieber baby updates and you already know I have some thoughts about those. And I especially have thoughts about this allegation that Hailey Bieber is trying to one-up Selena Gomez with her pregnancy reveal outfit. So let's go ahead and make this pop off official, get to that shambong because we are still on our health challenge. We're gonna pop off with a different kind of bubbly today, even though I could really use some shams with this topic, but we're keeping up with our health challenge and getting to this pop off. Okay, so first of all, I feel like I need to start this pop off by saying for the 1000th time that I am very happy that Justin and Hailey Bieber are expecting their first child. I mean, y'all know that I am big on consistency and we have consistently heard over and over again in all of these reports that Justin and Hailey have been dreaming of the day they become parents. They're both thrilled, overjoyed, everyone in their life is overjoyed. So I do believe that is the truth and I'm happy to hear it. Now y'all know I personally thought this day was very far off in the future. I put on a clown nose whenever the news broke because I was wrong. I really thought that Justin wasn't quite in a place that he was ready to be a dad. But again, I'm happy that I'm wrong. It sounds like Justin and Haley are in a great place. And I want to say I really respect the fact that Haley did want to make sure they had enough alone time as a couple before bringing children into this world. My parents waited a little bit before they started having kids. I know several of my friends have waited before they started having kids. Kids. So I personally agree with Justin and Haley's decision to wait a little bit and I think it's a great thing. I also want to say I totally understand them wanting to keep this news private for as long as they did. I personally feel like anyone who's expecting a child has the right to announce their pregnancy whenever they want and however they want. But I 1000% understand why the Beavers kept it private for so long because they knew once they did announce people were going to have something to say about it, including myself. Now, as far as the 
vow renewal, I'll admit at first when I saw them renewing their vows after only a little more than five years of marriage, I thought that was a little weird just because I was under the impression that you did a vow renewal when you've been married for 20, 30, 50 years and so on and so forth. However, y'all informed me and this is why I love the House of Hill, but a lot of you informed me that if you could do a vow renewal every year with your spouse, you would. So I feel like I have a completely new perspective, not only on vow renewals, but also Justin and Haley renewing their vows before going into this new chapter together. It sounds like it was something they needed individually and as a couple, and it's setting them up for success as they grow their family. I mean, as that Us Magazine source said, they have been going through issues because again, you can make a baby even if you're having marital issues. I don't know why people saw this pregnancy announcement and thought all of those rumors about them having issues were fake. Clearly there was something going on, but they have since worked through it. And clearly this vow renewal was just the cherry on top to Justin and Haley working through those issues and starting this new chapter of their lives as mom and dad. Now, I know a lot of you are probably going to be thinking that a baby doesn't fix things. And I know that Us Magazine source kind of made it sound like that because they said now they see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I do agree with you, babies are not band-aids. However, in the Bieber's instance, it does sound like Haley's pregnancy did help them fix things. So who knows you guys, maybe they're the exception to the rule. Maybe this pregnancy helped them gain a new perspective. They put all the petty things aside, realize that they do love one another. They're in this for life. And again, they're ready to start this new chapter expanding their family. I'm choosing to see it as a positive. And again, clearly this is something that they both have wanted for a long time. So it's a good thing. Okay, now that we've gotten those niceties out of the way, let's get into people saying that Hailey Bieber is trying to one-up Selena Gomez with her pregnancy reveal outfit. Because y'all, just like I said on yesterday's happy hour hang, can we please stop trying to make Jelena happen? Because I fully believe that the people who are making these claims on social media, constantly pitting Haley and Selena against one another, are hardcore Jelena shippers who need to let it go. Y'all have got to stop trying to make Jelena happen. It's never gonna happen. Now, did Selena Gomez technically wear the scarf around her head in Paris in February before Haley did it with her pregnancy reveal and vow renewal outfit? Yes, she did. Does Haley have a history of sometimes copying Selena's looks? Yes, she does. But for this particular instance, you guys, I really think Haley was going for kind of like a pseudo veil situation since it was also the vow renewal as opposed to her copying or trying to one up Selena Gomez. I'm gonna try to give Haley the benefit of the doubt here because I really would find it incredibly weird and slightly creepy if Haley was trying to copy Selena or one up Selena or bring Selena into her vow renewal slash pregnancy reveal in any way, shape or form. So I'm choosing to believe Haley was not thinking of Selena Gomez at all when she chose her outfit. Also, let's just go ahead and make the mutual agreement to no longer bring Selena Gomez into this. She's happy with Benny Blanco. She's made that abundantly clear. She's booked, she's busy. She's good being happy in her corner. And she's made it clear that she wants the Beavers to be good and happy over there in their corner. I know I can say that until I'm blue in the face, but we all know how the internet works. This is likely not the last time Selena Gomez is gonna be brought into the Bieber baby tea, but maybe we can all try not to bring her into it. You know what I mean? But when it does happen, y'all already know I'll be sitting right here to fill you in on it. All right, you guys, that's the latest I have for you when it comes to Justin and Hailey Bieber, this Bieber baby, and Selena Gomez. I want to hear your thoughts and feels on everything we discussed down below. While you guys are at it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you guys follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back here to check out my YouTube shorts. If you guys want to show me a little extra love or you just want to make sure I see your comment, don't forget you can also hit that super thanks button down below. Also, you guys, don't forget to tune in to tomorrow's live happy hour hang happening at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time. You guys can also check out all of my merch over at my merch store at houseofhill.com. And on that note, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.